been here for about six months now, and uh, our visas and all that paperwork went through incredibly fast. Uh, one of the big open doors that God has, has opened for us. From the very beginning, God has just opened a lot of doors through friendships, relationships, and so that's a big thing here in, in Uganda is just relationship building. We are accepted and we are loved. They welcome us with these great open arms and they want to be part of what we are doing. Benjamin House, we believe so, so much into the future of the young ones. There's a lot of need here, but it's also a good reminder when, you know, we get overwhelmed. It's just, it's just like that little, little push that says, you know, this is why you're here. This is why Benjamin House is here. This is why we're all here. So we've taken our, our services to high schools and different universities within the community where we are operating from. that God's plan A uh, for, for the family is through the local church. Just a few months ago, we launched the house church. A church of disciples making disciples. We are coming to 300 people in our church. The children's ministry is just amazingly growing big. Approximate of 100 children who come to our children's church. God drawing people to us every day. So the house church is the center of all other ministries that will be birthed through Benjamin House. our ministries in Katanga and, and partnering closely with, uh, with some, some trusted partners down there to help change the situation for uh, many of our sponsored children who many of you are, are sponsoring even right now. These kids we're working with were kids who lived in very poor conditions, kids who never went to school. Some kids were like actually from the streets. Some kids didn't even have a, who wouldn't have had a meal. Kids in Islam that would hear nothing other than vulgar language, seeing prostitutes around, and when we would hear the stories around these kids, they were really touching stories. They were that door that helped us get into Katanga. You know, without them, we wouldn't have had sponsorship there. We wouldn't know, um, you know, 45, 50 parents. And they came and saw what we were doing in Katanga, and this is the introduction of Benjamin House. One of the big doors that Benjamin House has opened for our kids in Katanga has been education. A lot of our kids, this is their first, the first time that they've ever gone to school, you know, and they're eight, nine, and so just to see them smile because they're going to school, that's been, it's been a huge blessing. We're hoping to launch into the next phase of our ministry, and that would be to expand our sponsorship program in Katanga and in another region uh, within the Kampala area. 
We're also hoping to begin construction on our first transitional house, which will be a place where children who are currently in orphanages uh, can, can be brought uh, to be made ready to go back either into their family of origin or into a foster or adoptive situation. It's a safe place to land for kids to be able to learn what it, what it means to be in a family. I used to wake up in the morning and then pray. I was praying that God give me a school fees. And one time Pastor Baki came, comes in Uganda and then he asked me about my life and I explained my life to him. And he says, I want to help you. So I finished high school with no school fees balance because Pastor Baki helped me and paid it all. So I have hope in my life and I'm willing to help any other person who is out there who is hopeless because someone like Pastor Baki gave me hope too. All along, I thought that the people that I need are far away from the city where we stay. You have to take a mission to go find people that are suffering, people that need the gospel. Being a part of Benjamin House has really changed me as a person to actually tell me that the harvest is, is here before I think it's out there. It's already here and I'm just being humbled every every other day. One night on my way to, to Ntinda, I started asking Juma, do you know about God? And he was like, you are the fifth person to speak about Jesus. So this could be my chance to listen about Jesus. And then when I invited Juma to our church, he happened to see Pastor Bucky. This really changed his life. I pray that Juma is going to be someone in his life and he will be standing to, to tell a testimony about his life. I thank God for all those who are praying for Benjamin House, Uganda. You, know, you can definitely tell when, that people have been praying for us, you know, for the whole staff and everybody. And so, first of all, I want to thank you guys for that. And um, we're going to have sponsorship cards with them. So, I just encourage you guys to sponsor a child. Thank you. And I thank God for all those who have gone an extra mile to give their money towards the growth of this ministry. May God reward you greatly. <laughs>